Welcome to today's special game day edition of It's a Great Day to Be a Dodger. That's right. I'm James Amorosi, and I'm here with Greg Randall. And today we will be taking a look at one of Madison's most heated rivalries. You've got to be talking about the Hornets. I am indeed. Today our own Madison Dodgers will be taking on, over, be taking on Hanover Park in a girls basketball conference matchup. This is the second meeting of the two squads. Mm -hmm. In that first matchup, back on December 18th, Madison came out on top 42-23. to 23. That's a pretty decisive victory, I'd say. Yeah, the Dodgers have been putting up a lot of points this season behind leading scorer Charlotte Tui, averaging over 25 points per game. Let's dive further into Madison's offense this season. That offense has led Madison to its respectable 10-2 record this year. Madison has a mixed attack between driving to the basket and spreading the floor, which is what makes them so dangerous. This team is averaging around 50 points, and that production does not seem to be stopping anywhere. Let's check out the clip. Madison's offense is led by junior 1,000-point scorer Charlotte Tui. The team relies on Tui to get the offense started each game. Tui currently has over 250 points this season and is very well-rounded. Tui can spread the defense out with her precision shooting or work the mid-range game. Tui also leads the team in rebounds, which allows her teammates to keep taking shots. Now this offense is not just a one-trick pony, as they also rely on senior bro Braverman to get to the basket and hold a leadership role. Braverman has over 100 points, and junior Devin Johnson also contributes in the scoring category. Madison trusts Gabby Mariani to bring the ball up the court and find the open person. Mariani currently leads the team with assists and will be the one you see leading fast breaks in the offense. Between all these ladies, Madison has a very sharp offense that would be excited to watch today. You know, how is Hanover Park going to combat this dangerous Madison offense? Well, the Hornets like to play a 2-3 zone. Mm. And we know like all games against Hanover Park, it's probably going to be a pretty physical matchup. Oh, 100%, especially with the occasional full court press. Mm. You know, I think the Dodgers won't really have a problem with that. But let's check in with Ian and Ethan, who take an in-depth in look at HP's defense. Hanover Park girls basketball team prefers to run a 2-3 zone during defense. Occasionally, they run a full court press that is shown in the footage. You can see they transition back into their 2-3 zone as they find it to be most comfortable for them. Here you can see they also like to run man-to-man -man at certain points as they like to face guard certain players so they have a chance of stopping them. This chance is with number 12, Samantha Cercion, as she leads with 50 steals and number 15, Ariana Alonardo, as she is second in steals with 37. This is going to be a dangerous duel for sure. The Hornets don't run a bad defense and like switching up at times. As you can see, they switch between the 2-3 zone and their man coverage. Well, after that look into their defense, I think it's only fitting to talk about their offense next. Well, you can't play a game without an offense. Yeah, I mean, the Jets proved that this season. All right, let's switch it back, and let's talk about HP's offense. Let's hear from Gabby to see what HP's offense hopes hey, to accomplish. Get up. It's time to the Hanover Park Hornets open up in a spread offense. They're looking to stall and take time off the clock to find the best opportunity to shoot. Here, we see them set up in a four low play. They like to set back screens to help get their shooters open. If they don't get open, they just go into a motion offense. They set screens away from the ball, which can help open up cutters in the middle. They also like to drive and kick to their shooters. The Hornets like to set off ball and on ball screens, so they are looking for a pick and roll.
They like to move the ball around the perimeter before hitting the cutters. Well, their offense looks okay, I guess. I mean, an okay offense will be no match for the Dodger defense. They've been holding teams to only 38 points per game this season. I guess you're right, especially with Gabby Mariani and Charlotte Tui commanding the four. Yeah, have you seen Charlotte's blocks? Yeah, and with HP's height, I expect that will be a problem. You know what? I'm surprised Charlotte hit 1,000 points before she hit 1,000 blocks. And Gabby steals? Yeah, I mean, I have to watch my wallet around her. She's a real pickpocketer. Let's hear from Jack to learn more about our Dodger defense. The Dodgers defense is primarily man-to-man, -man, consisting of specific matchups that are decided based on film and personnel. This man defense is suffocating to opponents as we see four players collapse on the Hanover Park player going to the basket. With high-level defensive players such as Gabby Mariani and Devin Johnson, coupled with offensive threats like Bo Braverman and Charlotte Tui, the Dodgers make quick work of transition buckets. We see multiple instances where Tui and Johnson's long reaches allow them to snag passes out of the air, making it easy for an outlet pass down court. To go along with the countless steals, there's a 24-7 block party in the paint. Any player who drives to the hoop has a great chance of being rejected by any Dodger defender. Hard box outs, diving on the floor, putting your body on the line is the epitome of Dodger defense. With a game like Hanover Park, they have played them enough times to know who should be guarding who based on tendencies seen on film. The Dodgers should make quick work of this struggling Hanover Park offense. This is going to be a great game, and we have two expert correspondents live in the gym to bring us the action. Yeah, Jack McGuire doing the play-by-play -play -play alongside Kyle Pieknik. Yeah, I love Jack McGuire. Don't forget the halftime guest, Mike Moore. Wow, you know, this seems like it'll really be great. Well, that's a wrap here in G50. Greg, let's send it over to the main gym for this afternoon's main event. Take it away, Jack and Kyle. Welcome to the main gym. I'm Jack McGuire here with my color commentary guy, Kyle Pieknik. And we have, we are set for the Madison Dodgers Hanover Park Hornets varsity girls basketball game. Um, looks like, I hope you brought your umbrellas because it's going to be raining threes from the Dodgers side from the looks of warm ups. So we're set for tip off. You know, it doesn't matter if we're on ice, on a field, we're on a basketball court, and it is exciting. It is a rivalry matchup the Dodgers versus the Hornets. It's exciting, Jack. That's right. There's nothing like the Madison Hanover Park rivalry. We are about to start the introductions for both teams here. And first will be the Hanover Park Hornets coming off a seven game win streak, as well as the Madison Dodgers, both teams with a seven game win streak. One of those streaks will be ended today. This is always good. It's my favorite part. Absolutely. It brings the energy. Good afternoon and welcome to Madison High School. Today's contest features your Madison Dodgers versus the Hanover Park Hornets. Today's contest is being conducted according to the rules of the New Jersey State High School Athletic Association. These rules provide for a fair competition among players. Spectators can help provide good sportsmanship by observing the rules of fair play. Any verbal, written, or physical conduct related to race, gender, ethnicity, disability, sexual orientation, or religion shall not be tolerated and could, uh, and could subject violator to ejection and may result in your penalties being assessed against your team. Everyone is requested to take personal responsibility for keeping this competition. 
10, Nadia Castaneda. Number 15, Ariana Alvinaro. Number 2, Sadie O'Donnell. And number 12, Samantha Cicero. And now the starting lineup for your Madison Dodgers. Lineups have been announced and the flag has been saluted and we are ready to tip off here in the main gym. You know, Kyle, before the game starts, you know, I think players to watch both sides. Junior, number 21, Charlotte Tui, leads the team in points, rebounds, third in assist and second in steals. She leads the team in block. All around, all around player for the team. And then for the Hanover Park side, we got number 25. <laughs> number 12, Sam number Samantha 12, Cicerone. Samantha Cicerone. Leads the team in points, uh, rebounds. Leads the team in points, rebounds, third in assist, and, and leads the team in steals. So this could, should be a good matchup. Both teams coming off of seven game win streaks. 12 and 21, good attack. For the tip, Charlotte Tui for the Dodgers, and number 12, Samantha Cicerone. The Dodgers win the tip to Gabby Mariani. Drives to the lane to Catherine Finnegan off the back rim. Out of bounds, Hanover Park ball. Going the other way. Dodgers showing a full court press against the Hornets here. And there's a block pass Ooh. attempt by Charlotte Two That had no chance. No chance of getting over Charlotte Two there. You could hear that from across the gym. You could hear that block from across the gym. Ball inbounded to number 14, Andrea DeSessa to number two. Up the court to 15. Number 10, under the basket. 
got a foul on number 11, Devin Johnson for the Dodgers. Inbounding the ball is number two, Sadie O'Donnell for the Hornets. Inbounded to Samantha Cicerone. Out of bounds, Dodgers ball. Braverman to inbound to Mariani. Mariani's gonna bring it off the court. Dodgers set up a play in the hands of Catherine Finnegan to Devin Johnson to the corner to Gabby Mariani. Driving, kicks. Dribbled out by Braverman. Number 21, Tui to Catherine to Devin Johnson. Mid range, just missed off the line. Pushing up the court are the Hornets. Cicero trapped in the corner by a double team of Dodgers. Jump ball. It's going to be Hanover Park ball. Wow, slow start to this game, but I think the tides will be turning after, after this possession. When the Dodgers get the ball back, that is a traveling violation and it's now Dodgers ball. Really feels like whoever gets this first bucket might start to run away with it early in this game. You know? I, Two. Think, uh, I think you might be right. I think the first bucket of this game is going to be the turning point and it's going gonna, it's gonna to set a spark to these offenses. Two so let's see what, see what Gabby Mariani can do. Pass to Bo Braverman. Top of the key to Charlotte, too. Kick to Johnson. Swing into the paint. Gabby Mariani drives. Missed the layup. And over Park gets the rebound. Game's wide open now. Two good defenses going on. Two good defenses you. going on. Under the hoop is Cicero. Foul called on number 11, Devin Johnson. That is her second foul. Foul's on the floor. And wide open, off the back rim, rebounded by Samantha Cicerone, off the glass, out of bounds, and over Park ball. Cicerone and Tui going up the ball. That's what they do best. Yep. These two battling out, they're going to be battling all day, I guarantee it. Number two, Kate Regal checks in for the Dodgers, subs out Devin Johnson. Inbounded to number 15, Ariana Alonado. She drives to the lane, kicks to the corner. Back up top, reset for the handle of the Hornets. Skip pass across the court. Three from number two off the glass. Rebounded by number 14, Andrea DeSessa, and she scores the first basket of the game. It is 2-0 Hanover Park, and this is where we could see the sparks fly. As the Dodgers try to... Dodgers need, need to answer here. They need some points. Charlotte two for three off the back rim. Rebounded by Hanover Park. Stolen by Gabby Mariani. That's and it's good. Back. And it's good. Gabby Mariani the with steal, the bucket. The steal from Mariani right to a bucket. We've been seeing these steals all year from Gabby Mariani. She leads the team in steals. She has 52. 52 steals on the season. Foul on Hanover Park. Madison Ball. Energy is high in the gym, and these two teams are going at it. Good defenses all around. Getting good shots up, though. Shots just aren't falling for both teams. Gabby Mariani drives. And picked off by number 12, Samantha Cicerone. Fast break interrupted by Bo Braverman, and it is going to stay Hanover Park ball. Real. Wow. Hi. <laughs> I mean, from here, it looks. From here, from here, from here I couldn't really see it, but. You know, probably Madison Bull. Can't question the ref, they're always right. Inbounded. The layup good by number 15, Ariana Alonardo. Little Mahoney. That pass was a little Mahoney. Skipped through the lane, 
to the opposite block. And the layup was me. Gabby Mariani directing her offense. Swing pass to Kate Regal. Drives to the hoop, Catherine Finnegan. Off the glass, bada bing. Bucket for Catherine Finnegan. This full court press seems to be working pretty well for the Dodgers as the Hornets seem to be a little bit rushed. Trying to get down the court. Layup taken by Samantha Cicerone and foul on the layup by number four, Catherine Finnegan. Cicerone will be shooting two, two free throws. First one is good. And we're set for the second one. You know, Kyle, after yesterday's girls' varsity game, I mean, within the first three minutes, we knew, we knew what the outcome was going to be as we saw the Dodgers win 68 to five against Buchan on senior night. This game here is looking to be like more of a competitive game. I mean, considering the Hornets have already scored the same amount as Buchan did yesterday, I think we're in for a much better game. All right, with that, Gabby Mariani. Long two for Gabby Mariani. Part of Sean Basketball, long two. Across the court to the middle. Ball on the wing for the Hornets. Stolen. Timeout, Hanover Park. This is the first time not taken in the game. Not surprised, we're about six minutes, four minutes into the game. Uh, it's a battle. Interesting start to this game. Gabby Mariani and Captain Finnegan are the only two Dodgers with points so far. Our leading goal sco point scorers, my bad, are Bo Braverman and Charlotte Tilly. They yeah. have not got a bucket yet. I know, I know, I, I heard you sneak in goal there. You know, coming from a hockey guy, Kyle Pieknik, he likes to say goal instead of baskets or points. Yeah. But, um, yeah, you are right about that. Definitely not the two I would have thought were going to be scoring the first couple points here for the Dodgers. But overall, first quarter's been a battle for both teams. Good defensive showing out of both teams and good offensive showing, getting good shots up. That's what we expected. Yeah, it's exactly what we expected out of this game, a rivalry game. Mm -hmm. Two good teams, two winning streak teams. Here it is, the inbound from the Hornets. Stolen by Gabby Mariani. Doing what she Pushing, does best. Doing what she does best. She's pushing off the court. Outlet pass to Kate Regal. Under the hoop. And that is going to be a traveling violation. Hanover Park Hornets ball. Tough break there for the Dodgers. But they're going to get it back in just a minute. They, Hornets seem to have found a way to break our press but still seeming a little rushed as Charlotte Tui steals the ball and is pushing up the court, weaving her way through defenders, cutting to the rim, and the two is good. Oh, Charlotte Tui layup. You do not want to let her get hot. Once no, she does. Do Cross court pass. Looking for players down court. Trying to get across, and there it is. The Hornets get across. To the corner. Trapped. And another steal from Kate Regal. Abby Mariani's bringing the ball up the court. Dodgers are moving fast now with some pace. There goes Charlotte Tui to the rim. Behind the back move, reset. Gabby Mariani at the top of the key. Directing the offense once again, setting up a play it looks like. Wing, Catherine Finnegan with the ball. Pass to Charlotte Tui. Drives, pull up from the elbow, it's good. The two pointer is good from the elbow. Charlotte Tui is automatic from that spot. We're starting to see what we thought we were going to see here with points from Charlotte Tui. As the, ooh, the Hanover Park Hornets made quick work of that press break and get the foul on the shot. Greg Randall is currently videoing the table over here. He is also part of the broadcast journalism class, and I bet he's jealous that he's not part of this. Samantha Cicerone, one for one from the line here. Second shot on the way as number four, Ashley Peterson, checks in for the Hornets.
They were tying their shoe and Ellery didn't need. And the second one is good from Cicerone. That break in action seems to have slowed down the Dodgers' attack. But Kyle, I think we might see a couple more points out of Charlotte too before the quarter ends. <laughs> I agree. Turning to Lane Finnegan, saved by Tui, driving pass to Gavin Mariano to the hoop, and she gets the layup to go. Great pass by Charlotte Tui. Her 34th assist of the year. 34th assist. Go for the second on the team. The corner for the Hornets. They're going to dribble it to the top and reset. Number 10 for three. Gets it. Back and forth action here in the first quarter. Which we, uh, we have a minute, 10 left. Gabby Mariani bringing it up the court. To Charlotte Tui on the wing. Jabs for three. Bang! Charlotte Tui for three. What a response from the Dodgers. Here are the Hornets in their press break. Up the court and they're over the half court line. Shot number 10 for three off the back rim. Rebounded by Mallory Deneen. Gabby Mariani slows down the action with 35 seconds left. Here come the Dodgers. Wing to Catherine Finnegan. Two from the wing, just off the mark. 20 seconds and the Hornets are, they throw it out of bounds. Turnover. Dodgers ball, no tip on that ball. It is going the other way and the Dodgers look like they could have the last shot in this quarter with 18 on the clock. Gabby Mariani dribbles it up again. Into the paint is Charlotte Tui, and she gets it stolen by number two, Sadie O'Donnell. The Hornets are pushing the ball, and it's a foul on Charlotte Tui. Not what we wanted to see as Madison fans. You were hoping to get that last shot there. We Close the quarter with some points. Hoping for the last shot there. Shooting free throws because of the new rules. Uh, five fouls in a quarter results in two free throws. Number 10, Nadia Castaneda. Gets the first one. Number 14 checks back into the game for the Hanover Park Hornets. Andrea DeSessa. And the second one is good. These Hanover Park Hornets do not miss their free throws, Kyle. It is going to be a major factor with five seconds. And Gabby Moran is bringing it up the court. Charlotte Tui, step back. Three, off the back rim. Good shot out of Tui, could not get it to go. Five fouls in that first quarter for the Dodgers. Five fouls for the Dodgers is not how that wanted to go, especially with a good foul shooting team like the Hornets. But with the lead after the first quarter, I'm sure the Dodgers are feeling good. This is a battle. They're going back and forth. So far, we have a great game. You know, the players that we thought would make an impact for both teams, they're doing what they do. Yep. Gabby Mariani, points, assists, Charlotte, slow start, hit a three for her 34th of the year. Leads the team in not only threes, but also points. She's second all-time scoring here at the high school. Yeah. We are in for a good game, ladies and gentlemen. As the clock winds down after the first quarter ends, Mr. Shout out Mr. Turo, fellow broadcast journalism teacher with Mr. Coviello. She is currently what it looks to be concocting a master plan to get as many points on the board as we can to really push ahead here and extend this lead out for the Dodgers. Yeah, three points, not going to do it for the Dodgers. Red ball, red. And it is... Madison Ball to start the second quarter. The five out on the court. Number 21, Charlotte Tui. Number one, Bo Braverman. 33, Gabby Mariani. 11, Devin Johnson. And four, Catherine McFinnigan. Second quarter of action starts now. As Gabby Mariani brings it up. Swing pass to the corner, to the wing. Steps in. Cross court pass to Gabby Mariani. Just off the mark there. 
and they get right back into their full court. It is broken by the Hornets relatively quickly as they push the ball down the court. Number 15, Ariana Alonado at the top. Number two, Shea O'Donnell at the top of the key now. To the wing, into the paint. Cicerone gets it stolen by Gabby Mariani, as expected. There she is. And she pushes, pushes the ball down the court. Looking for an open dodger. Devin Johnson in the corner, Bo Braverman. Top of the key, Charlotte Tui resets. Drives the lane. Down low, one more to Kevin Finnegan. Bada bing, another two points from Catherine Finnegan. Here goes the press break one more time. Looks like there's gonna be a lot of that. They break it pretty easily and the three-pointer is no good. The Dodgers get the ball back. And here goes Gabby Mariani once again, slowing down the action, taking her time up the court. Conducting this offense really well as they scored 17 points so far. Catherine Kenny with the ball. Driving to the lane to Charlotte Tui. Jump shot in the paint is no good. Rebounded by Cicerone. Outlet pass to number two, Sadie O'Donnell. Two on one. The Hornets cannot land a bucket. And the Dodgers recover. Rebounded by Gabby Mariani. Is that blocked by Bradman or is that just an air ball? I'm going to say blocked there. You know, you don't see too many air balls in the paint like that. Catherine Finnegan gets the ball, drives to the lane. Not paying attention. The Hornets aren't paying attention, but they recover, and it's off Catherine Finnegan's foot. Hanover Park ball. A lot of possession changes here early in the game. Good defense is showing. I wonder if maybe there's some nerves between the teams, trying to settle in here. Yeah, you know, there could be. Definitely with the rivalry game. Hanover Park seems a little rushed when they're taking the ball up the court, but seem to break the press pretty well. The reverse layup, no good by Alonardo, but she gets the ball back, stolen from stolen from Bo Braverman, who is now guarding Alonardo at the top. Number 14, Decessa, is being blocked up by Gabby Mariani today, as expected. Devin Johnson, foul on Devin Johnson, and one, Samantha Cicerone. Keep fighting, Sam. Kyle, I've been saying it, and I'm going to keep saying it. We're in for a good game here. Sorry to hear you're leaving at halftime. I am too. For, your, for the varsity hockey game. What a, what's the scouting report on that game? What do we got? Who are we playing? Uh, Mahoha, actually. Mahoha. Yeah. If you'd Let's like go. to explain for the for the fans watching what Mahoha is, because it's certainly not a town in New Jersey. Uh, no, no, it is not. It's Mount Olive for Packettstown and Hackettstown, all on one team. Wow. That yeah. sounds like a super team there. As yeah. Cicerone gets the free throw to go. Dodgers bring the ball up, pass to Charlotte to the corner, Bo Braverman. Dribbles it out to the top, Kate Regal to Finnegan. Great ball movement here by the Dodgers. Drives to the lane as Gabby Mariani through defenders and gets the foul on the layup. Great job by Gabby Mariani there, really cutting through defenders and driving to the lane, trying to get some contact on this layup. Braverman has been held scoreless so far in this game. Scoreless, unexpected. One of our better three, three point shooters. Remember, now he settles in. And the first free throw is just short. Free throws will be a large part of the outcome of this game. I guarantee it, as we have seen a lot of fouls today already. Gabby Mariani misses both, but it's rebounded by two. And to the top for three, Bo Braverman. And is fouled shooting the three. Missed the shot, but gets three shots to make up for it. Just as we were saying, first shot she takes, draws the foul, gets to shoot three. Professional commenta commentators would say, right on cue, is that right? Right on cue from Braverman, the three. That makes sense. First free throw good by Braverman. Very good, very good jump shot out of Braverman. Short, short mid-range, long two, three-pointer free throw. Good shooter. Second is no good. Still with one more to go because it was a three-point shot that she got fouled on. Gabby Mariani and Charlotte Tui are ready to rebound this ball if it misses. And it does, and it is rebounded by the Hornets. They're picking up the pace now, trying to break this press up. The press is back. Half-court defense now from the Dodgers. You know, I think that's a good switch up there. I think catch them off guard with a half-court defense, Kyle. 
Cicerone in the paint kicks out to 14. Airballed the mid-range jump shot. Outlet to Gabby Mariani. Passing it down court to Bo Braverman. Back to the top, Gabby Mariani. And great pass from Mariani. Bada bing! Catherine Finnegan is on fire today with six points in the first half. My goodness. 37 points on the season, and she has six already in the first quarter and a half of action. Blocked Block by Braverman, by rebounded by Cicerone. Back to the top. Sadie O'Donnell looking to make something happen here. Driving to the lane and gets the foul. Foul on Kate Regal on the layup, too. Wow. The Hornets are money on the line right now. They don't seem distracted by any crowd noise. Maybe if the crowd was a little bit louder, you can get one miss. Not today. We talked about two and Braverman are usually the leading goal scorers. Points, uh, Finnegan yeah. with how many? Six? Finnegan has six points today, yes. Her highest scoring game this year is eight. So eight. she is well on her way to a good game for herself. You know, and going back to the rivalry, Kyle, it's not just the basketball. This rivalry goes across all sports at the high school and I know in rec leagues and the junior sports levels too, as a, as a coach of the football team, the sixth grade football team, I know that this rivalry is rooted deep in the Dodger alum and with the upcoming Dodgers and it will stay like that. And as the quarterback of the Mass High School football team this past year, how did that game feel when you guys played against them? You know, we started off hot. Um, going up 14 nothing looked like we had it. And uh, the game didn't turn out how we wanted it to turn out. But in other sports, we have purely dominated the Hornets this year and in previous years, especially when we're talking about girls basketball. Howard Dodgers. Let me tell you something real quick. Unbelievable. Though. On the topic of this, this year, Girls sectional finals here, HP versus Madison. Oh. HP took the win in PKs. Yeah, they did. And almost all the stars for Hanover Park were a part of that team. So I'm sure there's some bad blood between players. Yeah, and you might not see it in their play, but we have seen a lot of fouls, so maybe there's a little something behind that. Mm. As Gabby Mariani drives to the cup, kick back out to Charlotte Tui, who is getting her jersey grabbed as she drives to the lane. No foul called. Finds open Gabby Mariani, reset at the top. Looks like they want to run a play here. Catherine Finnegan on the wing to Charlotte Tui. Step back, three-pointer off the mark and out of bounds, handle the park ball. One might say two is being swarmed by some Hornets there. Swarmed by Hornets, good one, Kyle. Thank you. And Madison is back in that full court press, but it is banned, so now they will back off as Number 15, Olinardo brings the ball up the court, guarded by Bo Braverman. Finds Cicerone in the corner. She drives. The shot in the paint is good from Cicerone. It is now a one-point game. The Dodgers still have the lead with three minutes left in this first half. They are just leaving, fitting it open on the wing there asking her to shoot it. She gets it back, finds the open Kate Reed on the corner, who passes it to Gabby Mariani, driving to the rim, off the glass. She's looking for a foul there, I think, as she sliced through the defense and the paint didn't get the call. And the Hornets are in transition offense right here. Too many steps there from Alonardo. We have a substitution for the Dodgers. Number 12, 
Sienna Notaro. This show in different Hanover Park team that the Dodgers may have seen the last time they played. Last time I had a decisive 42 to 23 victory. Yeah. This game's much closer. No, yeah, definitely good point there as Bo Bergman gets the bucket off the glass. The Dodgers made a three point game. Let's go back to the substitution there. Freshman number 12, Sienna Notaro, checks in for the Dodgers. She has four points and two rebounds on the season. Not a lot of playing time, but here she is in the game. Playing her part here as she causes some, and that's off the backboard, the three-pointer. She is definitely causing an impact right now on defense, so we'll see what goes on. Gabby Mariani brings it up methodically. Three-point shot from Mataro, rebounded by Tui, rebounded by Tui again. And it's gonna be a foul on Charlotte Tui. Looked like the right call, but Madison coach Gaturo is not pleased with that call, and it looks like they're about to make another substitution. Number 13, Ashley Driscoll checks in that game and takes out Charlotte Tui as she now has two fouls for herself with 1.30 left to play in this first half. Kyle, how do we feel about those two fouls from Charlotte Tui? Honestly, Jack, I don't know much about basketball. I don't really know so, what that foul was. Uh, it seemed like Hanover Park was, was all over it and it, it could have gone either way. She threw, yeah, she, she yeah, two minute mining. Yeah. Uh, she threw a, a hornet to the ground. I enjoyed it, but I guess the refs did not. No, they did not. As the Hanover Park's possession is unsuccessful, the clock ticking down, we are now under a minute of play left in the first half. Ashley Driscoll with the ball. Here it is, and that is going to be a foul on number 15 for the Hornets, Alonardo. I love this substitution here. The Hornets taking out Alonardo and subbing in Number four, Ashley Peterson. First second foul of the game. First second foul of the game. A lot of fouls today. Gabby Mariani, Ashley Driscoll, to Nataro. Finnegan, corner, Mariani. Drives to the lane through defenders and gets the foul on the shot. She will be shooting two shots. Hornets fans are not pleased with that call, hoping for an offensive foul there, but did not get it. Looking for the charge there. You know what's ironic? Gabby Mariani's brother, Sean Mariani, is the leading charge. I don't even know what you call a charge. Uh, charge. Charge obtainer. Obtainer for the boys team. Graduated last year. In the history. In the history. Of, in the history of Madison boys basketball. Yeah. As Mariani misses that first free throw. 0 for 3 from the line. 0 for 4. Can't get the fourth to go. The Hornets are pushing for 35 seconds. Peterson to Castaneda. Back to Peterson. Looking to get a bucket here before the half for the Hornets. Playing it slow here. Looks like they want to take the last shot. Gabby Mariani guarding Sadie O'Donnell. Gives it up. Trying to drive to the lane. Great defense by the freshman, Notaro. Goes right by Ashley Driscoll, and it's out of bounds. Dodgers ball on the shot. And Charlotte Tui checking back into the game, taking on Ashley Driscoll. Jack, I'm I not sure you want to throw it over the basket. No, you want to throw it towards the basket, towards the red circle. You want it to go in there. Um, as we just saw, Charlotte Tui's back in the game. Looks like they want to maybe get a play for her. No, they do not. Bingo! Buzzer beater from Bo Braverman. And now the Dodgers are winning 24-19 going into half. Now, Kyle, that is a good half of action there. And I think we are set for a good second half. Although you may be, you're leaving us for your hockey game. Yeah. But we do, we should have a fill-in coming. And um, we should be ready to go for the second half. And uh, Kyle, let's get some analysis of the first half from you before we get our special guest, Mike Moore. <laughs> you know, what do you think about that? Slow start to the game, slow start. But both teams really picked up. After that first bucket from HP, 
you know, the Dodgers, you could feel that kind of shift in emotion from that team. And they came out flying, started hitting threes, started making those buckets. You know, the Hornets are hitting their free throws, though. So I think the Dodgers need to be careful with foul trouble, stop taking as many. I think that's where they're getting a lot of their points. But I think, you know, like you said, yeah, I'm glad you, glad you mentioned the free throw shooting because I, I don't think the Hanover Park Hornets have missed a free throw. And I'm not sure if Madison has made a free throw. So that will be a definite factor in the outcome of this game. I said it before, I'm going to keep saying it because it is turning to look like a close game. So we are now going to our player spotlight by one of our fellow broadcast journalism students right now. moments that you really want the Madison team to focus on against Hanover Park today? Okay, uh, sure. Well, so the Hanover Park team, we have faced them before. This is our second time this season. They're a very physical team. Um, they push the pace. So we know that this game is going to be physical. We know that we need to get back on breaks. We know that um, we're going to look to push the pace ourselves because that's how we play, but in a much more controlled manner. So a big focus for us in this game is making sure that we play at our pace and in our style and not mimicking theirs. Thank you. And were there any aspects that the Madison team improved on since the beginning of the season that you would like to mention? Um, yeah, so this year our team is a mix of returning players and new players. And I think at the beginning of the season, um, we were finding our footing a little bit. And right now I think we're on really solid ground. Uh, we are, uh, what, 10 games into the season and our offense is really coming together. We're learning how to play off each other, our defense too. Um, is really has come together nicely. So at this point, I'm really happy with the way our team has gelled, and I think we're straight playing our strongest basketball right now. That's good to hear for the Madison team. And if you'd like to mention or give a shout out to any Madison players that have really worked hard on their teamwork and skill in the game, let us know. <laughs> Um, I really could shout out the entire team in that regard. Um, I think our team, one of the things that's really special about our program is how hard we push each other in practice and how everybody fills a vital role into what we need to do. Um, specifically this year, um, Charlotte Tui is doing some amazing things offensively. She's averaging over 25 points a game. She's had games of 42, 31. Um, she's had a double-double every game of the season, which are just kind of stats that are, are kind of unheard of. So it's been really impressive what she's been able to do offensively. Um, we have seen a really tremendous effort defensively um, from Gabby Mariani and Bo Braverman. Um, Bo Braverman in particular has been really solid on the defensive end, really locking down players, holding them below their average, and then has been really strong offensively as well for us, just all around very, very solid. Um, Gabby Mariani is a very competent point guard, uh, making really great decisions, uh, and we've been really happy with her leadership on the court in that regard. Uh, Devin Johnson, her rebounding uh, has been exquisite this year, especially the, on the offensive boards. It's been a really nice piece in addition uh, to our program. And then rounding out our starting five is Catherine Finnegan, uh, who again has really focused on defense from the beginning of the season, and she has, has taken leaps in that regard. Uh, but especially in the last couple of games, her offensive game has grown. She's looking to go to the basket and you know giving us that boost offensively as well. Um, so really, um, everybody has been, and been growing into a larger role this season. Thank you. And in order to do that, what is the number one thing that gelled the team together so perfectly? Um, I think I'll point to our leadership from Bo Braverman, our captain, as really kind of getting everyone on board with our philosophy. You know, we say hustle harder on our shirts and we mean it, that we push each other in practice, that we're always constantly motivating each other to get better, um, that we're working hard, that it's a mindset, that it, it comes from hard work, that everybody is a part of it. And I, I think she has done a really good job as our captain to kind of bring everybody on board with our philosophy and our mission. All right, and that is all. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kaden Peterson from Broadcast Journalism, and the first question is for Catherine Finnegan. As a senior on this team, what have you implemented for rising upperclassmen, and what mark do you hope to leave on this team? Uh, yeah, the Madison Girls basketball program is incredible. I mean, we have a great team put together, and I think that um, a lot of times we get in our heads and it can get a little serious, so... Um, as a senior, I like to just kind of remind everyone to, you know, like still have fun out there and like really, you know, take 
every opportunity that they have on the court as something like to kind of have fun with. And I like to lead by example and kind of remind myself to um, move on after every play. If something doesn't go your way, just keep moving. It's a good way to look at it. Uh, and this question's for Gabby. Uh, Gabby, you've played on varsity since a freshman. What goals have you set for yourself since becoming a part of this team? And what do you feel you've accomplished so far? I think definitely since freshman year, since we reached the um, state sectional final and we won, I think that's definitely um, a goal of mine this year. I think reaching the state sectional final and winning again because um, that feeling was so amazing. I think just personally, I don't have like um, like statisticals. I think just working hard and keeping my teammates motivated and coming together as a team. Got you. And this question's for both of you guys. Catherine, what are you looking forward to for the rest of the season? Um, I'm really looking forward to the county tournament and the state tournament and playing for, um, playing for a championship. And Gabby, how about you? What are you looking forward to? I think we still got a lot of tough competition in our conference and our, in our regular season, but looking forward to counties and states is fun. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right. All right. All right, and our special guest here at halftime is our Hi, Nicole, beloved trainer at the Madison High School, Mike Moore. So, Mike, I only have one question for you, and it's just to get, like, you know, your opinion on the team. So, as a trainer here, you watch every home game. Is that correct? That is correct. So my research was right. And uh, what would you say is your favorite part about this, this Dodgers team? Well, first, I want to thank you for the opportunity to be on this uh, wonderful broadcast. Of course. It's been, it's been real. Uh, my favorite thing about this team is just seeing the, the chemistry these girls have together. Uh, a lot of them have been played numerous seasons of basketball together, but also other sports. So just that cohesion that they have, that they're really a, a unit and uh, they actually care about each other. So it just, it's, it's been fun watching them progress over these years. But there's definitely a tight-knit group, so it's fun watching them grow and keep on raising the bar season after season. For sure, and you've been watching this whole game, right? I have been, yes. Right, so what do you think that the Dodgers need to start doing better or something that they're doing really good right now and they gotta keep it up? Well, I feel like uh, historically now for a few seasons, our strong suit has been uh, an overpowering D and we're playing great defense. I just think uh, we need to just keep shooting and uh, you can't score unless you don't shoot. So we gotta keep shooting, keep shooting. Mike, that was great analysis there. You like definitely that. cannot score without shooting the basketball. Yeah. Let's talk about free throws, free since we throws. were just talking about them yeah. a couple minutes ago. You know, the Hornets are struggling to miss a free throw, and we are struggling to make one. Yeah. Do you think that's going to be like a deciding factor tonight? What do you think? Well, right now, we're, uh, we got a five-point lead, which is it's nice to have the lead, but it's still a little tight. And uh, yeah, it could definitely come down to a few points. Hopefully, we could pull away, and it doesn't become a factor. But uh, yeah, if they keep hitting them, we keep missing them, that could be problematic later on. And, uh, now let's go to your let's go to your your profession, profession. as the trainer. You know, you're you're a trainer here at the athletic high school, trainer. athletic trainer here at the high school. Sorry, that's my fault. Um, what are like are there any nagging injuries we got going on for either team so far? So nothing specific, but there's definitely uh, some players are hurt. I wouldn't say any of them are actually injured per se, but uh, we're late in the season. I mean, it's starting to add up. They're about eight weeks in. They've been doing a lot of running, practicing every day. So we definitely have some some minor stuff, but. Virtually, we're a pretty healthy squad, and knock on wood, hopefully we stay healthy throughout this uh, postseason run that we could go on. Yeah, a little natural wear and tear, you know. It comes, it comes with the, the game. Comes definitely, the game. definitely does come with the game. All right, we got we got 40 seconds. Um, Mike Moore. I appreciate it. I want to thank you for coming on and answering some questions for no me. No problem. As we are 35 seconds away from second half action. Hopefully, we have an exciting second half. I hope so. All right. It's been real, Dodger Nation. It's been real. Go, go Dodgers. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Should I move to the middle of the camera? There, oh, there's Jake. He's here. How are you? I'm doing great. All right, all right, put this on your shirt. And put this on, and you're going to hear them talking over there. Who? All right, we're on screen right now. So put the headset on, you'll hear them over there. The second half of action will be starting right after the buzzer goes off. Mr. Murphy is doing a great job. We are now sitting here with Jake Carrilla, fellow senior here at Madison High School, filling in for Kyle Pjeknik, who has a hockey game. He will be doing the color commentary in place of Kyle Pjeknik. And we are off to a hot start as Charlotte Tui brings the ball down the court. Three from both. Three from the wing, no good. Rebounded by the Hornets. 
and it is being taken up by number 15, Alonardo. It's been a, a pretty big factor in this game for the Hornets. See if they can generate something. Shot out. Oof. Off, Off the glass. We got it by Gabby Mariani. She was complaining for a foul there, and Devin Johnson gets fouled on the attempt. She'll be shooting two free throws. Now, Jake, I know you're new to the broadcast right now. Pleasure to be on. Pleasure, I'm sure. But the Dodgers have been struggling from the free throw line today, which is uncharacteristic. Do you know the percentage? We do not know the percentage, but we can't hold the points. I think I've yet to miss one. And there he is. One for one, Devin Johnson from the line. So I've been saying the whole time, you know, free throws are going to be a huge part in this game, mm. considering how close it is. You know, six point Very game. close to me. Six point game at the start of the second half. Yeah, now a seven point game. game. Two for two, Devin Johnson. Cutting, cutting down on the missed free throws for the Dodgers. She makes it two. Ooh. Ball loose there, and a timeout called by Hanover Park there. Um, not sure if anybody has to there. Not sure if that was a, a timeout that could have been called, but they gave it to the coach of Hanover Park. And there's a 30-second timeout. So, you know, starting out the second half of action. I know you're, you just got here, just but, got here. I mean, they're flying around right now. So I think Madison, Madison's firing out strong. I think the defense will be able to hold out the Hornets for the, hopefully for the rest of the half. Yeah, there's definitely been a defensive battle in this game. A little, I'd say low scoring for the Dodgers considering their, their 63 point win yesterday. Yeah. Um, but I'm sure history is gonna repeat itself and the second half of sporting events between the Dodgers and the Hornets always become high intensity games. Hope so. So, as a fan, as a commentary guy, I am rooting for a good second half of play, and we are off to a hot start already. Commentary guy. Commentary guy. Reset at the top by number 14, Andrea DeSessa. Setting up a play, it looks like. Three from number 10. Pastanata and it is hard off the glass. Where's the number two? Shot missed by Charlotte Tui asking for a foul there. Get it. And now Hornets take over possession. Gabby Mariani with a swipe and another steal from Gabby Mariani. And she calls the timeout. And Mr. Turo is screaming on the sidelines for a timeout and she finally gets it. She might have called a timeout three or four times in the last two seconds. I'm not really sure, but she was heated just now, and she finally got the timeout. Gabby Mariani diving on the floor to get that ball. As expected, we see it all the time. So, Jake, let's hear your take on the rivalry since we've been talking about it so Well, much. came here, what was it, 24-19 as I got here, the second half, started the second half. It's looking like the Dodgers dominated. If I had to guess, if I, was looking, if I wasn't looking at the scoreboard, I would assume the Dodgers were up 30, yeah. to be quite honest. No, actually, I really like that take from you, Jake, because we have seen a really good offensive showing from the Dodgers. It's just the shots aren't falling as many as often as as often as they'd hope, you know. But that's just how it goes sometimes. Inbounding is Braverman to Mariani, who brings it up once again. Mariani is conducting this offense and has been the whole game. Pass to Charlotte Tui. Down low to Finnegan. Missed layup rebounded by the Hornets. And they're moving with some pace here. I think we're going to see some sparks fly. Missed layup by Cicerone. And here comes the Dodgers. Fast paced offense here. Mariani back to Finnegan. Takes it to the lane. No basket there, but the foul is called on the floor on number 10 of Hanover Park. Nadia Castaneda. That is her first foul. As we know, foul has, fouls have been a problem today. There have been a lot. And I think that might contribute to, might be, you know, under the underlying, you know, message that they're trying to send here in this rivalry game. The Hornets are moving fast. Three-pointer from 
Number 10 off the rim. Win. Rebound from Bo Bergman. Up the Back down low to Tui. Tui for three off the mark and out of bounds. Oh, off ball. the Hornets, it is Dodger ball. Jake, just as we predicted, we're going to see some, some high flying offense here. Super fly. Out of both teams, looks like they're Mary running the top, it. Driving down. Amazing. Unguarded, cutting to the rim and gets the layup to go is Gabby Mariani as they extend their lead to nine points. Yeah, that's the kind of that's the kind of layup that you need to be taking. It's a lot of aggression. That's the tone for the game. Yep, gotta the go to the, the rim. Game. Gotta go to the rim. Full steam. Stolen by Charlotte Tui. Fast break. Layup is good. And the Dodgers are now up 11. Jake, we were right about the high flying offenses coming out in the second half. Here we go. The game is good. heating up. Locked the Hornets, down D. Hornets get to score here in the second half, though. And another timeout called by the Hornets. It is another 30, full, full timeout for the Hornets. Wow. This is turning out to be exactly what we thought in this rivalry game, as the Dodgers take the lead by 11 now. And good uh, good uh, lockdown D, as you can see. I mean, men are struggling with what they want to do with the ball. Absolutely, you know, and <clears throat> what they want to do, they can't do. And as Mike Moore said just a couple minutes ago, you can't score if you don't shoot the ball. And that might be the analysis point of the day. I think we should maybe quote that. Should go in the yearbook. Put that in the yearbook. Just to make sure that Mike knows he said that. And we give him credit for the great analysis. I couldn't, I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> you would have a hard time scoring if you don't take shots. Tori handing it back. We have just under five minutes left in the third quarter. The Dodgers are up 11. Coming out of that timeout, I expect to see a play here from the Hornets, but it doesn't look like it. Mid-range. It's good. Mid-range from the side is number game. 10, Castaneda, and it goes. Mariani Back to the ball down. Walk plays the ball open to Tui. Tui looking for something to happen. Make Another something happen. Pressing us. Open shot from Mariani. Short. Over the back. And it is out of bounds on the Dodgers. It will be in our park ball. As Tui we did see, not uh, like that call. No, Tui was not in favor of that call there. She thought that it was going to be their ball again under the hoop, and they would have scored again, but they did not. Subs in for the Dodgers. <laughs> Number three for the Dodgers comes into the game. Another freshman, Samantha Nielsen, checks in for Devin Johnson. And it's a foul called on Bo Braverman there. And not a favorable call for us, as it was at half court, and maybe not not the, the best. best call. Not the best call. Not the best call, not the best. Zero, zero bias here at this table. <laughs> but that call, we're not fans. Kevin Mariani playing tough defense all day. Sticks with it as she stops the drive from number 15, Alonardo. Good ball off. Poor Bergman. Ball out of bounds. And over park ball on the side. C.D. O'Donnell inbounding. Let's see if they're able to get a play to develop. You know, with all these timeouts, looking a little slow. With all these timeouts taken, I think they might think? try to come up with something to I think they'd be able to get penetrate time. this Dodgers defense. But and it passed down low. Locked. Oh, wow. and they call a foul on Captain Finnegan. Finnegan. Not Another foul. controversial call there. As Dodgers fans, I would say that was a clean block. All ball should be going the other way. And that is Catherine Finian's second foul. A lot of Dodgers in foul trouble here. Another made free throw here by Sam Cicerone. Sam Cicerone. One for two. Here comes the second. What was 
second one is me. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Swing pass across court by Finnegan to Tui. Long three from Tui off the mark. Tui. Out of bounds. Shot. Viturro's not too happy. Not the greatest shot selection there in Viturro's. Inbound from Tori. He was a little frustrated over there on the sideline. Gabby playing high press defense at the half. Dribbling in the Dribbling corner. In the corner. Jinx. To the hoop. Oh, and they get the foul on. Let's see who that was on. On a Dodger for sure. Block on number three. That is the first one. Check that needs to check in the gate. That is her first. Here come more free throws from the horse. Eleonardo up again at the free throw line. And that might be the first miss from the free throw line of the game for the Hornets. Keeping the game at a seven point lead for the Dodgers. Second shot on its way. Silence in the gym leads to another made free throw for the Hornets. High press coming from Hanover now at this point. Got to got walking a back down now. Six point game, it's close. Catherine Finnegan left wide open, decides to take a dribble in and passes deflected by a Hornet. He goes out of bounds, Dodger ball. Easy inbound to Mariani. Open at the top of the key. Oh, it's Tui with the ball on the wing. Dribbling around Down. defenders. Mariani left open. Eurostep wow. into the lane and gets the layup to make it an eight point game for the Dodgers. That is Mariani esque. We see it from her. We see it from her older brother, Sean Mariani. We see it from her older brother, Brendan Mariani. A bunch of athletes in the Mariani household, not to mention the youngest, Cece Mariani. Driving to the ring now is Cicero. Kick out. Another pass here. Number 10. Drives the lane. The jump. Stopped by Charlotte Tui. Kick to the corner. Surprise. stuck once again. Surprise visit here by Hendricks. Farrell to my right. Not on camera, but is here. Another member of the broadcasting as a class. In our hearts. Supporting the Dodgers as that three pointer is airballed and rebounded by Devin Johnson. From Sadie O'Donnell. Mariani driving up. Outlet pass to Bowman. Back to the slow. Back to offense. Mariani. Shot from Devin. Just off the mark there, off the rim, and rebounded by the Hornets. Ball being taken up now by number 15, Ariana Alonar. She tries to make something happen here, being locked up by Gabby Mariani. He was looking for the open shot. Patiently waiting for something to open up, and it's... And it's a layup. And it's a layup by Alonardo in the paint. Back and forth action here in the main gym at the Madison High School. We are in for a good finish to this game. And it's in the past. So Charlotte Tui in the paint. And foul. She's fouled by Samantha Cicerone. Subs in for the Hornets, number four. Ashley Pearson and number five, Alexa, Alexis Langeries. Currently three fouls for the Dodgers and three yeah, fouls for the Hornets. I think a little bit more equal here. A minute left on the clock. Just Open three from Bo. Just, Just short. short. And a lot of emotion coming from the referee as he announces that it is white ball turnover. And he's going the other way. With 50 seconds left, the Hornets have the ball. And freshman Samantha Nielsen checks into the game once again for Devin Johnson. These two freshmen that have gotten some minutes here for the Dodgers are definitely making an impact here. You know, Samantha Nielsen, 10 points, 8 rebounds on the season. And Sienna Notaro, 4 points, 2 rebounds on the season. HP, Mariani pushing it down the court to Tui. 
knocked down. And she gets the foul on that wild layup attempt. The foul is on Ashley Peterson of Hanover Park. She will get two, Charlotte two will get two shots. First shot is on the way. These are huge for the Dodgers. Gets the first one to go. Seven points out for the Dodgers with 30 seconds left in the third quarter. Sub in, Sadie O'Donnell out, and coming into the game is Ariana Alonardo as she got her quick water break, and now she's back in the action. Second shot on the way from Charlotte T is money. Is two for money. Two. two for two there for Charlotte T. Hanover looking to do something here. Plays running. Into the paint. Leonardo's driving and Ball kicks back out. out for the three. Off and the glass. No good. Rebounded by freshman Samantha Nielsen. Has to go Braverman up the court, the court to Gabby Mariani, Mariani who finds Charlotte Tui under the basket. Ten seconds. Steps through and gets the bucket with six seconds on the clock to make it a ten point game before the fourth quarter. Half court shot is no good and out of bounds. And that is the end of the third quarter of play. Wow, what a quarter we just had. I'll tell you, Hanover is looking to make something happen here. Hanover Clearly not being able to generate anything much. They only got, what was that, seven points? Seven, and a half so far? seven points from Hanover Park in the third quarter, yes. And that was 12 from the Dodgers. The Dodgers outscored them 12 7 in the third quarter. Could lead to the See outcome it on of the, the game. Cases, yeah. It is two hot teams playing very well right now, both teams on a seven game win streak. One of those streaks, like I said earlier, will end today. And hopefully, it is the Hanover Park Hornets whose streak ends. 20 seconds left in the break between the third and the fourth quarter. Hanover coach is looking to strike some sort of you know, power and strive into the other benches you can see. Yeah, Not looking too good. And you know, he's used, he used two timeouts, I believe, in the third quarter alone. Yeah, I was just about to get to that. They used, what was that, one full 230? One, one full, full one full and 130 second timeout. Yeah. And seemed to be unsuccessful there with the play calling as they only managed to strength, get seven points there on the board. Mm. 36 Dodgers, 26 Hanover. Bo Braverman's inbounding now. Dodger ball to start the fourth quarter of action. The whistle has been blown. Mariani taking it to the top of the key. And Mariani starts again very methodically, trying to make something happen here. Ball down to Catherine in the corner. Charlotte Tui drives to the cup and Ooh. tries to pass it to Devin Johnson. They didn't seem Not to be on the same there. page there, but a great idea out of Charlotte Tui. Not the okay. best possession, but the Dodgers will be recovering. They're communicating back on D. How are you? And here come the Hornets once again. To the wing, Sadie O'Donnell down low. Falls in the Gabby Poked out defense. by Gabby Mariani. Stripped out. Falls loose. And that is going to be called ball. a jump ball. It will be Hanover Park ball as the Dodgers got it to start the fourth quarter. Tensions rising in this game. I can tell already as players are on the floor fighting for the ball. 10 point game, Dodgers are up. And the Hornets are looking to make something happen here. Inbounder not knowing what to do. Tim Leonardo. Driving down. And a foul is called. Oh, wow. Number 33, Gabby Mariani is not happy with that. She drove her cleanly no. out of bounds, but. As a Madison fan, I'm also not happy with that call. But the refs are the ones with the whistles and they make the calls, so it's not us over I'll here. Tell you, Gabby is really setting the tone here with her aggression on defense. Ball stolen by Charlotte Tui, and it <laughs> attempted to be saved by her out of bounds. Great hustle on Charlotte Tui as she. Dives for the ball, rolling out of bounds, unsuccessful as it is still the Hornets ball under the hoop. 
Coach calling out a play to run. Maybe they can get a basket here. They are in desperation mode to score. Known play to reset at top of the key. Or top of the three point line. Screen on Gabby. That will be an illegal screen on uh -huh. number 20 for Hanover Park. It will be Madison Dodgers' ball. And we'll see Gabby Mariani take the ball off the court again, conducting this offense, looking to score maybe a three here to extend this lead to a 13 point game. I haven't seen a whole lot of threes tonight from either side. Good ball movement here from the Dodgers. Gabby Mariani passes to Finnegan, then to Johnson. To the wing to Tui. Tui driving to the paint, Pull jump up. shot. No good, and rebounded by the Hornets. High press from Gabby, retreating back onto our other side of the court. And as you just heard from the Hanover Park fan section, we have to shoot, is what the quote Travel was. Travel number 14, Andrea Di Sessa. We have to shoot is the quote I'm getting from the Hanover Park fan section. That's going to go back to what Mike was saying at halftime about you can't score if you can't shoot. So we're looking to see a lot of shots here at Hanover. It's still a 10-point game, two minutes into this quarter. Still a 10-point game. No One single point score. Wow. And an illegal screen out of nowhere called on Devin Johnson. Now a quick turnaround there, and Hanover Park has the ball once again. That is Devin Johnson's fourth foul. Fourth foul for Devin Johnson, and she is actually staying in the game. Hoping to play a little more conservative. I'm trying to get that fifth foul. Gabby staying high up on number 15. Driving to the paint. Stolen by Stolen. Gavin Mariani. And there she Driving goes, the looking for the outlet pass to Cole Braverman. Euro step. Euro step. And it's good. Left handed finish. She gets the bucket in the lane. And the time Dodgers out, go Dodgers. up 12. And Coach Deturo takes a timeout. First point in, two, two minutes, 20 seconds in. That is the first basket scored here in the fourth quarter. And by Bo, by Bo Braverman, you know, a, definitely a point scorer on this team. Her Charlie mm, Tui yeah. definitely contribute to the point total. And uh, just as we expected today. But I will mention, Catherine Finnegan is playing a heck of a game today with six points. I agree. I think her and Gabby are both working together on defense. You know, they're sliding. Gabby's. What is that, three steals now, two, three steals? I think she's really dictating the offense right now because she's able to get that ball pushed down and as you were awarded, yeah. basket from Bo Braverman. Gabby Mariani, a little more on Gabby Mariani. Rutgers lacrosse commit Gabby Mariani is the team leader in steals. That's what she does best. So we expect to see that out of Gabby Mariani, diving on the ground, getting loose balls, mm -hmm. taking just taking the ball out of the Hornets' hands. 38-26 with five minutes and 40 seconds left in the game. We are in for a wild finish. Mm. Setting something up here. Is Slow offense is starting to brew. Hornets. Pass down low. Hornets working something out. You know, the Hornets are having a lot of trouble getting shots up and getting to the paint with this tough Dodgers defense. Mm -hmm. They don't allow a lot of points per game. They're allowing, they're allowing about, and rebounded by the Hornets. Jump ball, jump ball. and it is Madison ball. The Dodgers, like I was just saying, only allow about 34 points per game. So they're staying under what they usually allow. Yeah, full court press here. I mean, the Dodgers. Causing a little havoc. And a very energetic call from the referee as he announces white ball. Full press seems to have gone under our skin a little bit. It's a loose ball on, on our side of the court. Oh, the Dodgers off guard there with a the full court press. About the 15, Ariana Alenardo. Dodgers definitely weren't ready for that press, but will be next time as it is Hanover Park's ball. Let's try to, they're trying to make something happen here. Cicerone. Hanover Park fans wanting a foul and not getting it. Charlotte Tui. Left on, uh, directly out of fan, and he has to go. Yeah. 
and Vice Principal Mr. Jensen checks in to the game. And a fan was kicked out. We will resume action in just a moment, as if nothing even happened. The show, the show must go on, as they say in the show business. The four press still by the horns. I have some fans looking from 10 to my side. Yeah, it's like that we have it all under control. I would agree with that. Take there. And it. Like I was saying, the Hornets are still in that press, and the Dodgers are gonna. They seem to have broken it. Maybe not. They gotta get it across. There's Bo Braverman. Dribbles it across. Double team. Pass in the corner. Regal slows down the offense. Gabby Mariani conducting the offense once again. And they're gonna call a foul on number 10 of Hannibal Park, Nadia Castaneda, for holding the cutting Charlotte Tui there. Four minutes and 35 seconds left to play in the game. See on Hanover's face is they're not loving the way this outcome is happening in the last four minutes here. No, they are not yet, still yet to score in this fourth quarter. Having a hard time getting shots. Captain Finnegan, bottom, bing! Another layup out of Catherine Finnegan, and she goes for eight points, tying her season high. And another steal from Gabby Mariani, as expected, and fouled is Gabby Mariani. That is the third team foul for Aaron Park this quarter. And it is the first foul on number five as the Hornets call timeout. Looking to regroup here, maybe maybe draw up a play here. Jake, what do you think? I would agree. I think, I mean, they just called it, or they just conducted a very far down foul down at our basket. I mean, 14, 14 points down, I think that's what they're gonna have to do. I mean, they are struggling to get the ball out of our hands. Um, their offense is a little bit slow. I will, I will say, in this fourth quarter, they are yet to score. And I might add that they are yet to attempt a shot with this Dodgers defense constricting them and not allowing them to do really anything, mm, yeah. anything they want. Yeah, seven, I mean, seven points in the five second half. I mean, coach is definitely gonna want a couple more shots out of them. I mean, yeah, I think that's, I so think that's I, why the time I will, I will, here. yeah, that's true. I mean, I will give them the credit as, as low shots as, they, as they've had. They have gone seven points out of such low shots, but they also have had fouls. Yeah, let me add on to that with the, to the fouls. Um, a lot of fouls today. Uh, we saw the calls. The Dodgers were already shooting two fouls, in the, two shots in the first quarter due to fouls, and there are and there are two fouls on the Dodgers and three fouls on the Hornets. Inbounded to Bo Braverman, Braverman coming up on court now. Passes up to Mariani, then to Charlotte Tui. One-handed grab, saves from going out of bounds. Back to the top. Back to the top. It's a good thing Charlotte Tui is six foot. Three as she was able to grab that ball and save getting going clobbered out of in the paint. Look at Mariani changing the pace. Resetting. Taking a little slow. Looks like they're Devin gonna run play here. Ball back to Mariani. The Hornets are definitely gonna need to step up here and maybe cause a turnover as the Dodgers are really chewing off a lot of clock here, and that's not a good look for the Hornets because they need points and fast. Turnover has Raven been missed. The ball stolen from her as the Hornets are now transition offense going up the court. Three minutes, 20 seconds left in the clock. Desperate for a shot. Air ball from the three point line. Bo Braverman taking her time as she passes up. She dribbles up, sorry. Three minutes left in the game here. Dodgers, Dodgers are back to stalling time. Still remaining a 14 point lead for the Dodgers. Dodgers I must are handling say, the press. I, mean, I must say, Jake, the ball movement is absolutely fantastic right now. And they're going to call a foul on me. Catherine Finnegan. 
You know, Jake, I'm not sure what the foul was. I didn't see it, but that is Catherine Finnegan's third foul of the game, and that could be trouble for Catherine Finnegan. Two minutes and 35 seconds here to play. As the Hornets are struggling to even get a shot off. A lot of movement on the offense from Hanover. Drive to the lane by number 10, Costanata. And we have another foul on the Hornets as it was rebounded by Patrick Finnegan. Dodgers ball. And we see Cicerone, DeSessa, and Sadie O'Donnell all checked back into the game for the Hornets. That's big for the Hornets. Those are three starters coming back into the game. Still up 14 for the Dodgers. We're looking to slow down this offense here. Yeah, the Dodgers are definitely trying to chew off as much clock as they can. Maybe you can cause detrimental damage. Got a left open. Got a great one at the top. Hand it off to Tui. Good pass from Tui to Catherine Finnegan off the glass. The glass Out of bounds on the Hornets. It remains Dodgers' ball under the basket. Just about two minutes left to play here, and the Hornets cannot get a steal, cannot get a turnover, cannot get a rebound. They're struggling to get the ball back. The up. Foul called, rolling on the ground, Gabby Mariani. Gets the shot up and will be shooting two free throws. Gabby Mariani 0 for 4 from the line today. Let's see if she can change that here. It would be huge for the Dodgers. As we see, the Hanover Park Hornets are now in foul trouble as they have five team fouls, meaning that every time they foul them, the Dodgers get to shoot two free throws. And the first one is made by Gabby Mariani. There it is. That could prove costly for the Hornets. All sounds in the back room. One pushing up there. very fast. Shot from the three, number four. Rebounded by Pope Raverman. Defended by Cicerone. The full court pressure and now retreating to half court defense. Man defense. Charlotte Tui gets the ball. Gonna drain this clock and they're doing a really good job of it as the a minute 30 have left. a minute and 30 left to play with the lead of 15 points. Good cut by Patrick Finnegan and the pass, pass down. to Devin Johnson. Johnson with the bucket. This looks like uh, the Dodgers are running away with this one. The Hornets are still yet to score in the fourth quarter here. So we see the clock ticking down for the Hornets. Fumbling the ball at the three-point line. And the three from Sidney O'Donnell off the mark, rebounded by Gabby Mariani. Outlet pass. Lack of communication, but Tui still makes up for it. Hits the paint, and Euro step, is, and makes the layup. She is stat padding as she gets that layup to go with 50 seconds left. And the Hornets look defeated here as the Dodgers go up by 19 points with 30 seconds left. Still trying to get something going here, maybe some pride points, and Cicerone misses the layup rebound by Devin Johnson, and that looks like it will be the end to this game, the final score of 45 Dodgers. Hornets. Gabby Mariani dribbles the ball out. And the clock now expires. The Dodgers Great win. improve to eight in a row. And the Hornets lose their seven game win streak. Let's go! Hendricks Farrell, senior Fans here are. at Madison High School, is very excited about this Fans win. Fans are ecstatic to defeat our arch nemesis, Hanover Park, 45-26. What a game. A great second half by the Dodgers. What would you like to say about that? A great second half there and a scoreless fourth quarter from the Hornets. Leads the game to a close as the Dodgers take this one down. 45-26, extending their win streak to eight. I'm Jack McGuire. I'm Jay Carrillo. And this has been Dodger Media Online Broadcast. Thank you for tuning in. Go Dodgers.